Hello, uh, my name is Professor Natasha Lushatich and I'm the MFA Art and Humanities course director. So the basic idea behind this course is that thinking and making are not separate. When you make, you think in, with and through materials and media. And when you think, you use immaterial forms and or concepts to create or to bring something new into the world. Uh, the MFA Art and Humanities is both a highly interdisciplinary course, it's also a very intensive course. And the reason why it's intensive is not only because there is a lot of work, which uh, is the case, um, because the three semesters have very different emphases. And I'll talk you through the three semesters, after which we'll show you a couple of videos made by our current, uh, uh, current graduates, so uh, our students who graduated in 2021. Um, so the first semester is about exploration. The one thing that we don't do on this course, and I have to be very honest, is we don't cater for the kind of improvement that basically follows more or less the same route of practice, uh, only enables the student to get a little bit or even much better at what they already know very well. Uh, so the emphasis is not on technique, the emphasis is rather on artistic methodologies, so I'll just name a few, for example, um, automatic writing, automatic drawing, automatic painting, uh, psychogeography, uh, artography, intermedial matrixing, and so on, as well as a number of theoretical methodologies, because of course, in addition to um, exploring, uh, we offer a number of workshops because DJ CAD, the Duncan of Jordanstone School of Art and Design, has a number of physical workshops, such as, for example, um, the printing workshop, uh, ceramics, the metal workshop, the sculpture workshop. Uh, there is, of course, also the digital media workshop and the film based or lens based media workshop. So in addition to conducting practical research in these workshops and also on your own in your studio and by way of regular weekly seminars and lectures, uh, you also conduct a rigorous theoretical study in philosophy, in uh, English and in film studies. So semester two is slightly different in that here we ask you to focus on an area of deep personal interest. And the humanities modules that you take in that semester, either one, a 40 credit module or two 20 credit ones, are designed to help you, give you the tools, help you also understand what it is that you are interested in. So here you can take any number of combinations of modules. Um, you can do something like, say, philosophies of imagination, and you can combine that with um, um, say old English or you can combine it with practical fiction filmmaking or with practical documentary making or autobiographics or you can do something like new materialisms in humanities again or thinking across fields and so on. In semester three um, you are required to develop a project that is very um, sophisticated, resolved, that uh, mobilizes, if you like, the research and the knowledges, both the practical and the theoretical knowledges acquired in the first two semesters in order to create something that will be a bridge between your current, um, where you currently are in terms of your career, but also in terms of your knowledge, ability and confidence, which is not uh, 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 irrelevant, and your future career. We also have a number of other uh, uh, research opportunities on the course, say from very short trips that we usually take to the Glasgow and Edinburgh galleries to the slightly longer uh, uh, trip when uh, 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 circumstances permitting, of course, um, which we normally uh, uh, do, um, we normally go to a European uh, destination, for example, something like Berlin or Amsterdam or Istanbul, uh, to actually do a research on site. So that's all for me. Um, you will now um, see a couple of uh, videos that our recent graduates have made. Thank you.